Four people in three separate incidents have been shot in recent days when they mistakenly went to the wrong place. The incidents now bring up legal questions surrounding protecting property. KTLA's Alina Bovian in our news center now with more on that. Alina, good morning. Good morning, you too. That's right. The question now, were these self-defense cases or unjustified attacks? Take a look. This is the latest incident. Two girls were shot in Texas, two cheerleaders, after they mistakenly tried to get into a car that wasn't theirs, and this happened at a supermarket parking lot. The girls were carpooling from Austin to the Texas to the Houston area where their gym is. The girls were dropped off at a lot and accidentally opened a car door that wasn't theirs. That's when the man inside the car allegedly pulled a gun and began firing. It was unfortunate these girls were um, just trying to get home. The girls have been identified as Baylor University bound cheerleader Peyton Washington. She remains hospitalized after being shot twice. Her friend sustained a graze wound. Police later arrested 25 year old Pedro Teo Rodriguez Jr. as the suspect. He was charged with deadly misconduct, a third degree felony. He, why he shot the girls, however, remains unclear. This is the latest in the string of shocking and similar shootings across the country over the last week. On Saturday in upstate New York, 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis was shot and killed after the car she was riding in accidentally turned into the wrong driveway. Homeowner Kevin Monahan was arrested and charged with second-degree murder. Now, some of these incidents are renewing concerns for some people over the controversial self-defense laws known as Stand Your Ground, which are on the books in dozens of states. In those states, there is no duty to retreat from the harm, and you may use lethal force in public if you reasonably believe that your life is in danger. And that was KTLA legal analyst Allison Treasel. She says while California does not have a stand your ground law on the books, it does have very robust laws when it comes to self-defense. I'm Lena Bovian. I'll send it back to you.